Good morning, folks. This is day number one, full day number one without the weasel with me. If you missed yesterday's video, that's okay. You can go back and watch it anytime you like. It's on my channel. You can go subscribe. We are here in the USA. Bringing lumber down to Warrens, Wisconsin. And we have a reload to go pick up in Gary, Indiana. That's going to take us to Toronto, and then from there we're going back home. So we're still trucking. And I left diesel at home just because of everything that's going on right now. If you know things get worse, at least I don't have to worry about him. He's safe at home. So it's just me out here. And uh, we're taking this opportunity to clean up this truck a little bit here. I was going to vacuum it up, but apparently my vacuum cleaner's dead. It didn't charge, so we'll have to vacuum later. I'm just sweeping everything out right now. I had to open the windows because it got a little dusty in here. It's hard to keep this thing clean with a dog. If you're wondering, you want to get into trucking and you, you want to have a dog with you, that's cool. I've had a dog with me like for nine years, almost nine years, eight and a half years. And it feels weird not to have him here, but at the same time, it's much, much, much easier to keep your truck clean without a dog in here. So that's up to you. If it's worth it to have a little bit of a dirty truck and have a dog with you, cool. It's worth it for me. But if you like to have a spick and span, spotless truck, maybe having a dog along isn't for you. Unless if you have one of those shedless dogs, those those unicorns that we hear about, the dogs that don't shed anything, like poodles. You want to have a poodle with you? <laughs> uh, I'll probably always have a dog. Once this whole thing's over, uh, Diesel will be back in the truck with me until he retires. And who knows, one day, maybe when he passes on, maybe we'll get another dog. I'm... I don't know. I don't want to think that far ahead yet. Let's just think about today. All right, let's get on the road. We're here in Rothsay, Minnesota. We gotta make our way over to Warrens, Wisconsin. Before we get going, we gotta do a good clean on our dashboard here, especially any of these buttons that my hands might touch. I disinfect everything every day. I do this at the end of the day too. Uh, that's what's most important at the end of the day. Cause, but There we go, there we go. This I don't really touch a lot here, but if I'm gonna clean that side, I'm gonna clean this side too right away. And if you're wondering, yesterday was the big test on this truck after it came out of the shop. Again, the engine is running very smooth. It had a valve adjustment, uh, overhead adjustment, I think that's what they call it. Purring like a sweet little kitten, just really nice. So let's cross our fingers and hope that it stays that way. Uh, every time I knocked on wood before, the truck went back into the shop, so maybe we won't knock on wood this time. I don't know. Let's just hope for the best. <laughs> I don't want to go in the shop again for a long time. Let's drag our heavy butts onto the highway, shall we? Got a nice decline on the on ramp here. It'll help me get up to speed by the time I hit the freeway. No, I'm pretty heavy. I'm not going to be totally up to speed. We're sitting at about, well, we're not that heavy. We're sitting at about like 77,000, I don't know. Yeah, about 77,000 pounds. Heavy enough. Looks like it's gonna be a beautiful day for trucking. Look at this, the snow is almost all gone. Continue on this road for 192 day. kilometers. Fixed my water pump, new water pump on here. 
pumps the antifreeze through the engine to keep it cool. Pretty much every, anything and everything you can bolt onto this engine has been replaced now, except for the turbo. Well, let's hope that lasts a little while yet. But. And we are just purring along. Really happy with the results. Really happy, and I hope and pray that it just stays this way. You know, I've gotta, I've gotta get my family and gotta get myself through this pandemic. And uh, I just want to keep driving. I don't want to have problems. I mean, I got enough stress in my life right now. As do you. As do you. You know, I'm not saying I'm. I have it the worst out there. There's a lot of people right now that have it much worse than me. And yeah, you know, it's gonna get better. It's going to get better. Well, it's time for another little break. The rest areas here in Minnesota have uh, a guy in there 24, well not 24 hours, from 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. I believe. And they said they disinfect every surface in there every 30 minutes. So that's nice. Nice to be able to wash my hands. Got my freight behind me here still. Pulling it on down to Wisconsin. My essential lumber. I still don't know what I'm picking up in Gary, Indiana, though. Apparently it doesn't need a tarp. That's all I know. And it's going to Toronto. Guess we'll find that out tomorrow. Or do I pick it up on Tuesday? I'll have to check my record or my computer here. But so far, yeah, business as usual. Everything is fine. Haven't noticed any big difference, really. I mean, once I go through Minneapolis, maybe I'll notice that there's less traffic. I don't know. I guess we'll have to wait and see. Kind of hope there's less traffic. But, I mean, it's been a little overcast, but other than that, it's been business as usual. 500 meters. Take I-35 Southwest 10. It's been a little more quiet in here because Diesel's not in here. I mean, Diesel's not a very loud dog, but usually. I'm usually talking to him or, you know, whenever I stop, he's usually excited to go and explore and get out of the truck. And now I stop, I look back and it's, it's a little quiet. But, well, we're still having fun. And I got to video chat with him before in the morning. Looks like he's having a good weaselcation back at home. Black River Falls, Wisconsin is where we will rest our head tonight as long as we can find a parking spot here. A little less than a half hour down the road from where we gotta be in 12 hours. 11 and a half, so we got lots of time. Hoping to be able to snag a nice clean sanitary shower. so quiet in here. And so empty. I miss the weasel. And I miss Brit. And I miss all the other dogs. Huh. So this is what it's like trucking all by yourself. Like I said yesterday, uh, I've only gone on a trip without one of the dogs. Usually it's diesel, but I've only gone on a trip without one of the dogs, like just a couple of times. And that was just for a couple of days, just to deliver to a site on the oil fields where I'm not allowed to have dogs. But uh, yeah, I'm doing okay. I'm doing okay. I'm just uh, a little bit extra stressed out, I think because of all the recent maintenance and stuff I've been having to endure with this truck and with everything else going on. Uh, I'm doing all right. I mean, I'm in the same boat as all you guys. You guys know exactly what I'm talking about. This too shall pass, they say. So uh, for now, we're gonna keep trucking, doing the best we can. Uh, the truck was running pretty smoothly all day like I was really impressed the valve adjustment just smoothed out the engine but towards the end of the day I don't know if my mind was just playing tricks on me or you know if it was the voices in my head or 
what it was, but I thought I felt it start to shake again. It wouldn't go out of adjustment that quickly. I just had it adjusted, so it can't be that. Maybe it was just the road beneath the truck. I don't know. I don't know. Every little bump and jitter now, I'm like, oh, what was that? No more. No more. I'm done. No more. No more shop time. I can't put my truck in the shop every time I go home. There's no profit in that. So, uh, I parked it for the night here. We're in Black River Falls. I mean, the truck's still running good. The engine still sounds healthy. I got here. I still have full power. Could have just been the roads. It could have been my head. Oh, so, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a good sleep. Try to sleep this all off. We'll wake up in the morning. We'll deliver this freight. We'll head on down to Gary, Indiana. We'll hopefully get reloaded tomorrow yet. That'd be really nice. If I can get loaded tomorrow afternoon. It's about four and a half hours from here. So it's about a half hour to my delivery. Get there for nine o'clock. Hopefully be out of there by ten. Four hours from there. Ten, eleven, twelve, one, two. Be there between two and three. Oh, but I gotta go around Chicago. So it's it's gonna be later in the afternoon. We'll see if they'll load me. Uh and we'll take that up to Toronto. It'd be nice if I could get loaded tomorrow. Just keep moving. Just want to keep on moving. It's been a pretty good month. It's been be a better month uh, for loads than past months. But I want to continue this. I need this to keep. I need to keep this ball rolling. I need to keep this goodness just going on. I need this truck to keep running. I need you to treat me well. Please. But every day, I edge closer and closer towards getting that W900. I told you already, I already got a quote from Andy. All I gotta do is wait, bide my time, get myself in the right position, hopefully have no more problems with this truck. And if all the stars align, and the loads keep coming and the world turns itself right side back up and everything works out just fine i'm going to push myself to get into that truck as soon as possible i think that's what i'm feeling right now but like i said the voices have been talking to me all day telling me that my truck's about to no fall apart all i all i'm saying is that with a new truck yes you got those big payments to deal with right that's why you get yourself financially prepared first that aside at least then you have warranty warranty on everything for a while then at least you have a couple of stress-free years hopefully i mean new trucks break all the time too i mean you can buy a brand new truck and that thing can be in the shop every weekend too it's a roll of the dice it's a risk being out here it's what we call trucking there is no guarantees and every day is a roll of the dice you just throw the dice out there hope for the best so let's see what happens see what happens that's trucking you gotta love what you do. You gotta love this to do it for a long time. And I, I do love, I love it, but it, it really bothers me when things keep going wrong. But what, what can I say? I mean, I could be a doctor and I'm sure doctors hate it when things keep going wrong for them too. I mean, but at least when things go wrong for me, people aren't dying. So, I mean, my bad day is probably a lot better than their bad days. Ugh. That's got to be stressful, dealing with people's lives, especially right now. Shout out to all you healthcare workers out there. I, I I didn't mean to bring that up. I forgot that this whole virus thing, I didn't, I wasn't referencing the, referencing the virus. But a shout out to you on the front lines, all you nurses and doctors out there. You guys must be stressed to the limit and beyond right now. So you're probably rolling your eyes at me talking about my stress. So I apologize. I'll shut up because you guys, you guys are in it a lot worse than me right now in the in the game of the stresses so i've been talking for long enough here oh. hope you guys are well hope you guys are healthy stay safe and tune in tomorrow we're going to continue on here we're going to deliver some freight we're going to pick up some freight we're going to keep on trucking because that's what we got to do